Start her up, buddy. Right yep. back. Yep, there she goes. Alright, so you watch that. Watch that needle. See? Watch. Stay way below 400. Mm -hmm. See how that's acting different now? It's not quite bounced around, and it'll actually even out even more, you know. So after 18 inches here, that fan, you know, that fan, what you're seeing bounce there is turbulence from the air. That fan is not causing a positive pressure here at all. That fan is pulling a vacuum inside of the heat exchanger. That's it. It's not, it's induced draft. It is inducing the draft inside of the heat exchanger. That's it. So right now we're running at 11.3% O2, nine parts per million. And our CO2 is at 5.5 CO2. 243 degrees stack temperature. Now, okay, we're dropping a little bit. We're at 10.9. Now, we want to see our CO2 below 100 parts per million, our O2, oxygen, between 6 and 9 percent, and we want to see our CO2 between 6 and 9 percent. And then our stack temperature should be 170 degrees above the inlet temperature when it ever is entering in the burners. Now up here it's quite hot, so we're just going to let this thing run for a little We did have an air conditioning, and our draft we want to be in between 2 and 3, 0.02 and 0.03. It's a little low, but it could be pl placement of where we placed it at. It could just be placement. Okay, so. Okay. So, we spiked up to 70, 99. There you go. So, you're allowed to have. So, you're in line. Okay, so. You want this between 6 and 9. Below 100. What's below 100? CO. Okay. Carbon. Yeah. Now remember, you have your initial ignition, you know, but after your ignition, so, you, you know, you're going to have your initial spike, but after your, that spike, you should never see it rise. If you see your CO rise after your initial ignition, yet if you see your CO rise one part per million, you have a problem. Any rising CO is a problem, no matter what. After ignition, that's your only time you should have rising CO. So right now we're at nine parts per million, 9.7%, oxygen. Our CO2 is at 6.3 and we have a 303 degree fluid temperature. So we're going to let this run for 10 minutes and make sure 9.4 so we're still dropping a little bit. You see, if like now, if I saw that go to seven, there's a problem. Now 
I can't tell you how many units I sell it. Th two units a year, I walk up and the thing looks just like this, burning just like this. I stick this in there and it pegs my parts per million. Those are, here we go, a thousand, two thousand. And just, it, it'll say LO or it, it's after giving it. It's it. Have a limit. Yeah, I have a pretty have a limit. Yeah. And that's my temperature limit again. <laughs> It's a little hot to be running heat, but this is fun. <laughs> Look doing at that boy we, sweating. <laughs> doing what we do best. Look at that sweat head. <laughs> Life of a HVAC tech. If you don't like addicts, you're in the wrong trade. <laughs> Gotta love these things. Cool. Well, I tell you, I would, I'd leave it, honestly. Okay. I would leave it. It's very close. I guess we didn't pay attention to the PPM. Let's do it one more time. When it's Sorry. stopped, yeah, we'll start it'll time. fire again, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, we are pulling in 110. And we're warmer. Yeah, it's definitely hot in here. These things are kind of cheesy, aren't they? You gotta, like, ah, oh, you know, I hate Gotta be careful with them. It's a dry heat. <laughs> yeah, it's a dry heat. Oh, it's okay. It's dry heat. I wonder where the misses are. I don't know. That's an awful long time to go to Michael's. Yeah. <laughs> they found everything at Michael's. Everything in the world. I got that same one too. Hey, we must shop at the same store or something. I actually care about it enough to drive to this thing. Yeah. When it comes to season. Yeah. You don't want to be wasting time with the Crescent. <laughs> okay. So let's watch our. our Oxygen. Now our fan hasn't kicked on yet. And we're waiting to hear our fan kick on. And as soon as our fan kicks on, we'll watch our oxygen, our O2. It should not rise from this point. If it rises when the fan kicks on, it's a very good chance you have a crack in your heat exchanger. Now, let's cut it off. We'll turn off the thermostat. 
Well, I'm going to gonna turn off the thermostat. Watch that number. Make sure it doesn't. Uh, the uh, parts per million, I'm sorry. Parts per million should stay solid or dry. No, it uh, stayed steady for a while and dropped to 4, 3. I made your gas valve is closing. Mm-hmm.